I really don't want to make a new video on this, but I guess I have to. For those of you who don't know, Jeffrey Hunt, Stephanie Freeman were suspended from their high school, then expelled because of a racist TikTok they made. Yesterday, I went in depth on the Jeffrey Hum side. While I spoke about what his his so-called apology is, well, and then I barely said anything about Stephanie. That was my first mistake. I didn't say anything about her. And you think Jeffrey was bad? Let me just tell you, she says the N-word in all of her posts. Like, she makes references to black people. Like, a bunch of the time. So, with that said, I have my phone here. Just in case there is a picture that you guys should probably see. I'm going to show it to you. From my phone. Not only that, but... On Twitter, I got some things that relate to this situation that go against Stephanie. Like, posts from her social media, her apology. Well, it's not really an apology more than it's a fuck you note to black people. It Alright, so... I'm going to credit all the Twitter pages that I found because last night, before I went to bed, I found all these posts that tend to go ag against said lady. So, what I'm going to do, because since it says the N-word, I'm going to have a safe word because I'm not going to actually say the word. I'm going to say, eh. Meaning, anytime I say, uh, you know what word I'm talking about. Alright, this first one comes in from Hannah Mae. At Big Fats, Fat Mood. I'm not so sure how you pronounce that. Big Fat Mood, I think. Now, I'm not going to read her post. I'm just going to read the post that she put out. That Stephanie put out. Here we go. Some of you... Uh, starting off already. Some of you uh, annoy the fuck out of me. Lol. This is not a laughing matter, first off. Most of you can't even go to college because you don't have the knowledge or privilege. Keep in mind, there's millions of other schools I have the option to go to get into. Ha 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 ha. That was evidence number one. Now, I'm going to talk to you about this post. Yeah, your privileges of being a white person, Stephanie, are out the window. Yeah. Also, these other colleges you tend to say that you can get into. Now that all of this evidence is out here, I don't think you'd be getting into any colleges. Now, this next one has a picture of it. So, I'm going to show you guys the picture. Now, warning, it's an extremely racist picture. You have been warned. If you don't want to see it, skip to a certain p skip ahead until I don't show you the picture. All right. So basically, this next one says is a post from her Snapchat saying, "Am I black yet?" I warned you guys about the picture. That is her in blackface. First of all, that is extremely racist to even do. Original Sponge sent that out this tweet from her snap story where she said that in a caption under over a post of her in blackface. And now and you thought, oh, maybe it was just fucking, what what you call it, face mask. Because she, she's a girl, she fixes her face. Then she goes on to say this. Black people are dirty, musty, crusty, 
and just overall gross. Like, who the fuck says they're proud to be black? So, those of you who thought that that was just a face mask, think again. Because... She that after just posting that to her Snapchat story and saying who the hell is proud to be black I have friends who are black and they're very proud to be black because of one certain I'm not going to get into it uh, like there are some actors and famous people who are celebrities who are proud to be black like you have, you have Kevin Hart. You have Kofi Kingston. You have, who's a wrestler by the way, Jeffrey. You have, I'm gonna say, I don't really know that many black actors. Uh, Donald Glover, aka Child Childish Gambino. You have Morgan Freeman. Chris Rock. You have all these guys. Dave Chappelle, you have all of them. And they're all very proud to be black. Alright, now we have more evidence coming in from M-E-A-K at Whack Ernie. Where is she just... Where is... She says, Stephanie Freeman claims that other the other Instagram page isn't her, but clearly you can see that it is her. And blacks are human too. That she said. Stephanie apparently said blacks are human too. You have fun with that girl. So. It shows a picture of Stephanie. And then a backup. TikTok account. After her original one got deleted. Now you can see. I'm not going to show you the page. Since you guys shouldn't follow her. But all I'm going to tell you is that I have more followers than this one. I'm winning. Then she said, okay, on Instagram, in her DMs, on her Instagram, now Stephanie claims this is not her, but clearly we can tell it probably is. It says, no, I am not sorry, what do y'all want me to say the hell? And then she goes on to say, at least my dad can pay to have this whole thing to go away which is more than I could say for you fatherless uh, now she didn't say the or she said the N-E version now N-E-G-R-O-S that's what she said and she went on to say that this is not her this is not me this is someone impersonating me I never wrote that assuming of what you've posted for a long time during this whole thing. I'm assuming it's you, Stephanie. And let me just say something. This is on the internet. Colleges are going to ask for your social media. Jobs will ask for your social media. Your father cannot pay you out of this. And the fact that you're saying this even more means that in my opinion, he should just disown your ass. Because anyone who says any of this shit doesn't deserve love. Alright, now we get Wilkie B. King. At Wilkie B. King in the mix. Lol, it's crazy how Stephanie Freeman has changed her tone so fast. Take this as a PSA to, to all racist white people. If you are not racist, does not apply to you. It doesn't apply to me, but it's evidence for me to tell you guys. Just because 45 is in the office doesn't mean he can help you. We have no problem ruining your life. All right, that's what that's, this person had to say about Stephanie. It does show the whole Instagram thing, the one I just read, and now I'm going to show, read to you guys her so-called apology. You guys ready? Strap in. Hopefully it doesn't say the N-word. I'm trying to read it to myself real quick. 
I don't see the N word in this one. So, I won't have to use a safe word. Here we go. You ready? I'm going to tear apart this one, too. I want to apologize for the abhorrent video I posted. I know in my heart how wrong it was. If you knew how... Okay, my camera. I'm, I'm using my computer camera. If you knew how wrong it was, why did you post it in the first place? My BF is racist and he slowly normalized his racism on me. This has come from someone who in the past few posts has said the N-word. Like, a shitload, almost. So, and talk shit about black people. Also, might I remind you, this was her account. And this was her idea. Her boyfriend just went along for the ride for this idea. Still, I should never have let him. What, join? I believe blacks are human too, made in the image of Christ. If you believed that, then why did you say that they were disgusting? I have disappointed God, and I want to apologize. You've disappointed your family, you've disappointed God, you've disappointed so many people, Stephanie. You've disappointed so many people, and I don't know if they're going to fucking accept your apology. Please don't contact my college. It's my future, and one mistake should not ruin a, a life. Also, please stop with the death threats. Again, I apologize. Sincerely, Steph. You thought um, Jeffrey's apology was bad. She basically has lied. Almost the whole post. She asked everyone to con don't contact the colleges. When this story has broke everywhere, the contract the colleges probably know. Alright, time for the next one. The way this one ends is going to be a juicy one, I can tell. Here we go. You ready? I promise to dedicate my life to serving God and treating every human being with respect. I do not accept, expect the public to forgive me, nor do I deserve it. You don't, and they won't forgive you probably forever. No one has really forgiven Hulk Hogan. Everyone just forgot about Tessa Blanchard because there was not really that much evidence to provide that Tessa said what she did what she did. But there was evidence for Hulk Hogan and not everyone has actually forgiven him. Alright, nor do I deserve it. But I pray God for forgiveness for for but I pray God forgives my sins. This is a grammar mistake, Missy. <laughs> you do not start a sentence with but <laughs> God damn it. School taught you nothing. That's the only way we heal. But I do take issue with one thing. Hatred does not defeat hatred. Threatening, bullying, and canceling me will not resolve the world's problems. It won't, but apparently to the internet. That's a question for the internet. I. It puts you in your place, yes, it puts you in your place, but it doesn't solve problems, but it puts you in your place where you belong. Please, I urge everyone to seek God and find peace in him. Okay, now she's just bringing God into it. She's brought God into it the last two posts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now that you're bringing him into this, he doesn't want to forgive you ever. I understand why people are angry at me. Do you? But how will ruining my life change that?
No, 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 no. I got this. We didn't ruin your life. You ruined your life because you made the post. <laughs> you ruined your own life. All you had to do was not make the video. And this wouldn't have all and this would have all not happened if you had not made the video. Basically she did a complete one eighty and try to be make it be a heel when really this is a real situation that you shouldn't even joke about. My parents are live in live om fear, not in fear, om fear for my life. But this is not fair. Now, I can understand parents living in fear for their kids' lives. I had surgery over a year ago. Almost a year ago. And my parents live in fear every day because she, they, because of the whole pandemic. I, am, I have a low immune system, so I'm very able to get the virus that's spreading. They don't want that to happen. So I refuse to go out in public. I only... When I go for my runs, I only go around my development. I don't go any further. Because I ain't trying to get sick. I don't contact with humans. That's it. Alright, on to the next one. Ooh, Instagram fucking back colored background. Okay. You guys ready for this one? Oh, this is going to be a juicy one. Let me read it myself real quick. For the love of God, stop sharing the video and my name in and pictures, and picture. Then maybe you shouldn't have posted it. <laughs> you do not know what it, what this feels like. We don't, but we hope you do. I've never been this scared. It just isn't fair. Imagine you're a stupid teenager just going along with with stupid teenager stuff and then your life gets ruined. Yeah, your life got ruined because you made the video. I didn't know being racist was part of teenage stuff. I must have missed out on that. I must have missed out on the racism teenager era or the part of my life because I don't ever remember any of that. Oh, no, wait. It's not a part of it. It's just her dumbass. It's all her fault that she she ruined her own life. We didn't. Moving on. Forever people not caring what's in your heart or what you're really like. Only defining you by a stupid video. Please, please stop sharing it. You asking for people to stop sharing it just is going to make people share it just to let you know. You do not win in this situation. Oh no. Here's a video with her voice in it. She types, go in and rant on Snapchat. Add me. She puts your Snapchat. If you say something, some slick stuff, I will cuss you out. Y'all, uh, better not try, try it. I'm tired of y'all. Let's see if I can get you guys to hear what she said in this, because, oh, oh boy, this is a doozy. All right, you ready? Can you niggas stop blowing up my chat on Snap? It's literally all hate. Like, what the fuck did I do to you? And it's mostly niggas out here. Can you niggas? Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it again. Stop <laughs> blowing up my chat. On all right, you you can stop saying it. And she even tiled this as a public service announcement <laughs> 
You heard her right. <laughs> that wasn't just me. Ooh, this does not change you. <laughs> If you didn't hear it, I guess I'll try and decipher it. Okay, so she starts off with, can you uh, stop blowing up my chat? On Snap, it's literally all hate. Like, what the fuck did I do to you? I'll tell you what you did. Just take a guess what you did real quick. I'm not going to tell you what you did. I want you to take a wild guess what you did, Stephanie. And it's mostly uh out here. That's what she ends it with. It's mostly uh out here. We have gone 20 minutes. Okay, who's ready for the next one? She then goes on, what is this, Instagram? Yeah, this is Instagram. She then says on Instagram, I'm a changed person. Please forgive me. I love everybody. Spread love, not hate. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. She said this. She said it. All right, then we get into the same blackface photo this time with a different caption am i y'all yet laughing my ass off laughing my fucking ass off actually same blackface photo i'm not going no never stop This doesn't really seem right. Alright, then we get to this new post from her Instagram saying, I've been exposed I've been exposed. It's time to shine. A light on all the other cave racists out there. More juicy stuff on the way. By the way, I'm on Twitter and I found all this shit. More juicy stuff on the way. Ooh, can't wait. What's this? Alright, so her friend Emily. Now, okay, now she has a friend named Emily who also got in on the act. She's saying that she wanted her to get famous because... Emily also said, t texted Stephanie saying, are they going to get offended at my blackface? And now her friend Emily is also racist, I guess. Stephanie says she even admits to she bullied someone to self-harm. That's a bully move. Emily then said she was cutting herself because she said, uh, laughing my fucking ass off. No, that's not a laughing situation, bitch. All right, then she makes this post on, I believe it's Snapchat, saying, Yes, I made the video, and I'm not sorry about it. Hold down and send to 20 friends. She's just asking for her life to be over. That's basically the equivalent to saying, Put the knife, final knife in my coffin. Put the final nail in my coffin because I am done with life at this point. That's basically what she just said. And then we get to another Snapchat thing, this time the same blackface photo, with a different caption. Bah ha 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 I feel ghetto wearing this. When by, I mean by blackface photo, girl, go back early in the video, 
look at that photo because she sends us about three times with different captions. It's ugly. It's terrible. All right, then I found this. All right, so now there's two things on her Instagram that she posted on Instagram. All right, you guys ready for this? This is gonna suck for me to read. The top thing is at source on lining on lining yeah. do you feel bad for now this guy says do you feel bad for the racist girl on tiktok losing her scholarship expelled from school and her future ruined yes or no i bet everyone said no they don't feel bad and now into the posts i'm sorry you guys ruined my fucking life. I am no longer able to go to my dream college, and my boyfriend and I have no future. Now I have no future. She then goes on to say, Black people ruined my life. They can't function in a society, so they took my future. They're mad at, mad at me. Well, just mad me, and my boyfriend proved a point. What point did you prove? I'm going to stop right there. What point did you prove? Hmm? What point? You didn't prove no point. You proved that you're a terrible person. That's basically the only point you made. Back into the post. All they know how to do is act ghetto and racist and low class. That is not true. That is very, very not true, you piece of shit. <laughs> and then in all caps for the next final few words, white power, I do not care anymore. A white power post. All because you ruined your own future. They didn't. Black people didn't ruin your future. You ruined your future. How? You made the video. And you said the N-word about 4,000 times. <laughs> Alright guys, to be completely honest, I thought she said the N-word about 80 times. But about more times. But... We have a few more. We have this one. Ooh, this is not going to be a good one to read. This is basically her putting yet another final nail in her coffin. If God loves black people, then why did slavery exist, huh? Y'all can have your fun with her at this point. <laughs> I'm just about done. Oh yeah, that's right, because we needed to teach you ignorant, disgusting species a lesson and train you to be decent human beings of and society. Not of society, and society. Her grammar is horrible. God damn it. <laughs> school did not work <laughs> for this girl. I bet, she, I bet she was the one who skipped school every fucking day because she said that only God can tr control her. You need we. Oh, I'm. You said we. I'm not a part of this. I'm a. I'm just saying that you did a horrible thing. I don't agree with any of this. God damn it, Stephanie! You're a piece of shit. If you want her Instagram, it's Steph. Many underscores free mans. Go trash talker. Back into the post. And get. 
Another grammar mistake. You don't start a sentence with the word and. How are you supposed to be taken seriously if you make a grammar mistake like this? Oh my god. And guess, and now this whole thing is, the rest of it is all caps up until the final sentence. And guess what? You still continue to cry and outrage at everything. Stephanie, I don't know if you understand, but black people live hard lives at, as is. They don't need more shit to go through. They shouldn't go through more shit. They've already gone through enough. What you are doing is making black people just want to punch you right in your stupid face, Steph. <laughs> and what's better is that you'd probably deserve it, Steph. Stephanie Freeman, you fucking bitch. Blacks are gross, and they just want to nag at the world. You guys can have your fun with this one. I'm, I'm too tired. And then she ends it with, stay in your place. If you guys want, you can dissect this whole thing. Please, be my guest. I... I just can't with this post. It's so horrible. Stephanie's also exposing her other white friends on Instagram. By the way, guys, I'm not going to... It's not about her friends. It's just about her. All right. Now we get to what other evidence do I have? She's on her Snapchat and she goes this. She does this. She says this. If you're proud to be black, repost this on your story and send this to your black friends. I bet you won't because you're embarrassed. Am I right? And I'm right. You are not right, Stephanie. You are far from right. You are actually the most wrong person in the world. Oh my god, I have never been so ashamed of my own race. Just to let you know she doesn't represent us. Um, far from it. She now represents the dirt. She represents... I wanted... What does she represent? She represents garbage. There you go. Put her in a grave six feet under. And just bury her in fucking trash. See how she likes it. It's. She's horrible. What's this next one? Yeah, also her college offer was rescinded. Yeah, her college offer was ex rescinded. This is awful, guys. I'm trying to find more shit, but... Let me just go on Twitter and just search up. Take a guess, and then see what pops up.
Oh, what's this? At Evil Succubus 17 says that Stephanie Freeman actually contacted her. If you want, I can say the whole conversation. So. You'll know what side I'm talking. So. Um, Evil Succubus said, good, put your face on national TV. So that, so you're become famous so familiar every college will know who you are and never attempt you stephanie said triggered succubus goes want me to leak those messages on twitter bitch you have you have even more hate coming your way racist cunt yeah bitch i'm talking i'm about to make sure Twitter sees your whole ass. Your whole ass. Saint, Stephanie goes, saying triggered, laughing my ass off. Sagibus goes, bitch, you are, you're not fit to say shit unless it's, I'm a stupid racist bitch and I apologize. But don't worry, tomorrow Twitter's seeing this. Stephanie goes, I don't care. You have less than 300 followers and barely any engagement you're irrelevant. Succubus goes, don't be shy. Type some more. Why not call me a... Uh, now. Stephanie did not say the word. It was Succubus. And from her profile, looks like she's allowed to. I'm just going to say it. She's black, so she looks like she's allowed to say it. So I'm not going to go in on her. Why not call me uh, while you're at it? It's all getting screenshots. Stephanie just goes, okay. Someone doesn't care about their life. <laughs> Stephanie, you are fucking dumb. I swear. Let me see if I can find any more of this shit. Basically, what we have heard so far is that Stephanie is awful. Oh, so she's now asking for me. Okay, so she went on Instagram and posted this now. All the African Americans in my DMs can stop with the hate because you're going to make me take back my apology. Take my apology back. Alright, final question. Who do you think is more racist, Jeffrey Hum or Stephanie Freeman? In my opinion, it's Stephanie. I have gone 40 fucking minutes with this, like, with this video. To be honest, I didn't expect this video to be like 40 minutes long. I just wanted it to be like a good short video, but apparently there was a lot of shit to talk about. And basically, Stephanie, if you ever watch this, let me remind you something. Black people didn't ruin your life. 
you ruined your life. You made the video. It was your account. There's you made all these damn posts. Who ruined whose life now? <laughs> all right. Now, internet, if you guys want, your turn to roast your ass. <laughs> See you guys in my next video. Alright, just to let you guys know, there will be another video up today. This time a little more lighthearted video. This time a wrestling video, Dream Match Monday, starting today. Now, during Dream Match Mondays, I don't really spoil what the matches are. All I know is that it's a dream match that I have. And Stephanie will not be in it. <laughs> no. Because I don't know her ass. I'm ashamed that I live in the same state as her. I want to go back to New York. And. Yeah. <laughs>